The next thing that I want to go ahead and paint um, is going to be the cone. And so I want to make sure that this dries evenly. So we're going to wait for that um, to dry. And then doing a gradient on this and doing a gradient on the sphere, I'm going to need to change the angle of uh, my, my board so that the, the watercolor flows in the right direction. My brush, I'm um, putting it into the water, so I'm actually using the water here almost as if it is um, kind of like paint. So if I do a, a wider area and then I can move my um, brush so that it starts going on its side because with water, because this is more of a triangular shape and I want to pick up just a little bit of um, paint here with some water. Okay. And put a little bit, like putting my brush on its side to get a little bit of paint there. Okay. And again, I want to use um, pure water for the next part here and I have to think about it as a um, a bunch of triangles moving in kind of fanning out here so now that I have some water right here that is where the highlight or the lightest part is going to be and so I pick up um, some more um, paint Okay, and I'm going to take the wider part of the brush and again, I move it so that it's um, thinning out so that it's a little bit less wide. Okay, and again, it's enough paint that it looks like it's just about to drip going in this direction. All right, so now I need a bit more um, paint. So I'm going to be picking up um, some more paint to add, you know, to my palette here because I need this to be um, darker and you might want to go ahead and um, uh, try to mix this, you know, a few different values ahead of time, which is a good idea. Okay, now the fattest part of the brush and again, going across and drawing it out so that it's not so um, thick, so that I'm going really literally ending up on the edge of my brush. So fatter and then moving it. So that takes a little bit of um, practice. Now I want to come in with um, a bit heavier paint. Okay. Again. Okay, and this is kind of a gradient that is fanning out. And then I want to go back into um, a little bit lighter. Okay, and I'm going to come down from this. And you can see I'm touching this area right here. Okay. And sometimes putting brush on its side to fill that all out okay now it is because wet area touches wet and um, it has to be allowed to dry and your watercolor is going to bleed one thing into another but just allow it to do that okay so this is the lightest area here and again uh, subsequent subsequent um, uh, triangles going across and I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry okay I think we're ready for another um, layer here just because I did these um, 
gradients here, it doesn't mean that I'm com necessarily completely done. Um, sometimes putting several layers is going to lead to a better outcome because it smooths the layers smooth each other out somewhat and um, I can add more color where I actually need to. I propped up the corner um, on this side um, right here and the lower end down here so that the paint will still go in this direction. And so I'm adding a little bit more water to it because what I want to do is add a little bit of definition on this side, leave open what I've already painted here in a strip that is like a triangle, and then add a little more pigment going across this way. And you see I'm, I'm putting it on the leading edge rather than flat. Okay. And I make sure that I um, can view the edge. Okay. And then I need to draw, bring that right up to the tip of my um, cone here. Adding clear water to my brush. I'm just going to touch a little bit here on the other side of my stroke and just touch that little bit and pick up at the end there. Okay, so that's a little bit more of a gradient from a little bit lighter to, um, to even lighter yet. Again, it's kind of fanning out, so I'm gonna um, put a little bit of water right down here along this side and you can kind of look across and you can see you know what's wet and then a little bit of pigment here okay picking up a little bit more pigment and changing the brush angle from flat um, wide to thinner on the edge okay then i'm gonna pick up a little bit more pigment heavier pigment again wider and then changing to right on the edge so I'm not touching the edge and slightly lighter um, pigment along here and finishing it out okay and I'm seeing that it kind of is um all running together now i don't know you know really recommend going over and over and over anything but i'd like to pick up some of the pigment and so i rinse my brush in water and one brush stroke okay and you can actually pick up a little bit of pigment one this one's taking two strokes. I'm wiping it off so that I'm kind of picking up a little bit of the pigment here on this area and there, blending it in. And I, I'm tempted to do more, but I need to stop because otherwise this all gets kind of overworked and messed up. And so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it.